G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jono. Today I'm gonna build a Kemper performance with you guys coming along for the ride. Before I take you over to my Kemper stage, the profile that I'm using is of my Orange Rockerverb 100 Mark III. It's a fantastic amp, easily one of the most versatile amps around at the moment. Um, it's a great profile, it's available on my website uh, if you'd like to check that out. Okay, so here we have the performance and uh, first of all, let's look at the stack. Here's the amplifier, Orange Rocker Mark III, that's my one just here. So we're gonna build off that. Now, one of the things that I love to do first, or always do first on a profile, whether it's whether it's a one that I'm making or, or a new performance or whatever, uh, we always go with compression first. Uh, yeah, compressor first, uh, make sure that's on, 85% mix, um, and a bit of extra volume sometimes if you need it, that's totally fine. Then we have, well, what I like to do is always put a boost on and put that here on B uh, and assign that to a foot switch as well. Now, the one that we've got here is the Pure Booster. I just felt like it sounds really good um, with this profile. This Pure Booster, uh, it's not doing too much, but it's doing just enough just to take it forward a little bit. Here it is without the booster. <laughs> And booster on. Just kind of fattens it up a little bit, which is really nice. Uh, and then we have an overdrive. I put that in C. Now that one, we've gone with the full OC on this one. Um, now if I take the boost off and uh, just have that overdrive, it sounds like this. Absolutely loving that tone. One of the things that I really like to do with the Kemper uh, when I'm setting up a, a performance like this is the stomp boxes, I like to use all four, but I like to separate the colors. So as you can see here, I've got um, a green one here and a green one here and the reds in the middle. So the reds I know are always gonna be my overdrive pedals or distortion pedals or boosters. Uh, and the greens are gonna be effects. So the ones that I've got toggled are a big reverb and a delay. Um, and we'll go through that in, in a second, but as opposed to just having, you know, overdrive, distortion, reverb, reverb, I like to separate the reverb and other effects just so I just find it easier to uh, remember which one's which that way. Moving on to the effects, X mode, I always like to use that as a studio EQ. That's just something that just should go on every single profile performance in your Kemper. Um, just put it in. It just makes things sound better. It just like refines your sound. So that's always in there. Uh, and then modulation, first one, quad delay. It's a mod spot, but I'm using it for delay just because I want to have multiple delays. Uh, and that is the quad delay there. This quad delay, I've got pretty low in the mix, uh, but I'm using it for all that room sound and that bit of verb you hear at the end as well. That's all coming from that quad delay. Lastly, but not least, we have delay to spot, which I put the crystal delay in, and we have uh, the ionosphere reverb here. Ionosphere reverb is one of my absolute favorites. Um, I just love it. Uh, you can make awesome swell sounds with it, and you can make um, some really nice like, like uh, voice and harmonic sounds as well. Uh, but that one's not really gonna be used in this performance. So as you see the performance now, this is basically where it's gonna start uh, and how it's also where I'm gonna build all the other slots off that. Before we jump into the morph setting now, this is how basically it's gonna start when I pull this performance up. 
Um, I've got everything on that I want on when I morph it, uh, but I've changed the values so that um, when we flip to morph, they go up. And you do that in the uh, rig editor. Um, so this is where it's going to start. And then we're going to hit the morph button. And then we come to a massive cloud. The great thing about assigning the effects to the stomp boxes is now I can just take that ionosphere reverb off and I've got And then we come back to the normal one. So with the morph setting, I'm always looking to just verb out and, um, and, and just, yeah, verb out all the effects just to create big ethereal and ambient tones uh, and then play with the volume control on the guitar to um, dial back the gain or, or anything like that. This profile is super, super versatile. Uh, you can really gain it out if you want to. It takes pedals fantastic. Um, and the way the Kemper has captured the amp is, uh, I find it really musical. Um, and it, the ability to put all the effects and basically create a cloud to play this tone off, is something that I'm really, really digging. All right, guys, thanks heaps for watching the video, building this tone up with me. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Hit like and subscribe if you feel inclined, and I'll see you on the next video.